Today I'm about 40 minutes north of Bangkok, Thailand. I've come to Samut Prakan to the very last BTS station here on the light green line, Keha. We're gonna go and explore this area and see what we can find. So join me for this random adventure. There's a really interesting looking robot cafe right across the road from me. Not sure if it's open, we'll go check that out, but I think I just stumbled onto a Japanese secondhand store. Let's go take a look at this. Should be really interesting to see what kind of stuff they sell here. It's supposed to be all products imported from Japan. All right, well, there's the first fail of the day. I've been told this place is closed, so... All right, let's go across this road and see if the robot cafe is open. Not off to a good start. Well, fortunately or unfortunately, I am no stranger to disappointments and things being closed when I go to see them. So let's just see how this day turns out. We can go and explore some of this area and see what's down here. That is the robot cafe over there, but there are conflicting reports of whether or not it is still open. Well, only one way to find out. I don't have high hopes for this day. We're already starting off on the wrong foot and yep, that's the way it's gonna go. It is definitely closed. And this is also now apparently a dental clinic. So perhaps this is no longer the robot cafe at all. So I think at this point we need some divine intervention and I found some place that might just give me that. Instead of walking the 20 minutes in this heat, I've hopped onto a Nguyen motorbike and we're gonna head over there for a short four minute ride. According to his speedo, we're either going 40 kilometers an hour or 160. I'd like to believe we're going 160. And yes, I've come to Watts with Omnimit here, hopefully to get some divine intervention and in helping me salvage this video and finding some interesting things today. Let's look around. There's some really cool stuff here. The whole place is rather deserted at the moment. There's plenty of vendors, but there's no tourists, no visitors. But back up there, that's something I want to see. It's still under construction, but this is actually really beautiful grounds. There's a lot of cool little things here. So I'm really excited to kind of walk around and explore this complex. Guys, I'm really blown away by the craftsmanship on all of these designs here. I mean, all of this is handmade, all of these from dried flowers and leaves. It's just really, really stunning to see this. And you've got to check this thing out. This is all made from dried leaves, flowers, just stunning. I, I can't even imagine how long this dragon head, all of this taken to make. Wow, really, really magnificent really surprised to find such a beautiful temple this huge complex here really kind of in a small area i don't know if they normally get a lot of tourists through here or not because it is such a big complex but i find it really peaceful here and i'm actually really happy that i stumbled into this so the other things were closed who cares this is the way life goes sometimes things don't work out but you have to pivot and keep going with the flow and sometimes the best things work out right after something seems to go wrong and look what i found I will definitely put this and every other place I go to today down in the description. There'll be a Google Maps link. This is such a cool little place. And man, there's wildlife everywhere. We got chickens over here, all sorts of stuff. And wait a minute, what? I see ox or I have no idea. Gotta go take a look. Here's a little one over here. So I guess these are ox or cattle or I'm not sure. Let's take a quick look. I think these are buffalo. They, they definitely kind of look like buffalo, maybe water buffalo. These guys are gigantic. Just look at their size. They're just chilling here. It's super hot, but they don't care. And I'm definitely not going to annoy them because they're pretty big and I don't want to become uh, buffalo food today. I don't want to say this too loudly near these guys, but I'm getting hungry. Let's continue on looking through this complex and then let's go see if we can find some food around here. found the actual temple part here or at least one of them so take our shoes off and go walk in there I definitely don't want to make a lot of noise in here because there's quite a few people here who are praying paying merit and paying their respect so it's always important to be mindful where you're in a house of worship and I'm just gonna walk around and do some recording very quietly these are all the different baskets that you can buy to pay merit. And what I find really awesome is that there's just an honor system here. You pay for them, you take them, 
This is something that would never happen in the West. It's almost noon and monks are arriving, so I'm not sure there's gonna be some kind of ceremony or not, but I'm definitely gonna stick around for a few more minutes and see what happens, because there's quite a few people gathered here. So I was saying earlier, you can buy all of these different baskets, different gifts, and you pay merit with them. You're basically giving them to the monks as a donation, and that is how people pay merit here. They buy these different things, they feed the monks, they give them different things. This is very traditional here in Thailand and in the whole religion of Buddhism. I've seen this many times, but it's always something really interesting to witness. Honestly, I never know where to donate money when I come to the Watts. There's always so many different boxes, but I'm going to go ahead and donate to this one over here. I think it's important to be able to support these institutions and all the people that work here and maintain them because they rely on funds like this. That was really fun, but I'm getting hungry and I think I found just the right place to go eat and my motorbike taxi is right here. Time to get for a ride. Swati Kap. I think we've definitely arrived. This is the place. Kap Kap. Okay, I've definitely come to the right noodle place. Um, Ani na hap. Ani. Okay, kapuna hap. Well, I think I definitely picked the right place. As you can see, this place is packed. I got myself a great looking bowl of vermicelli noodles, these giant meatballs, and I'm guessing pork. I think it has blood in it. I'm not sure exactly because the menu, well, it didn't translate phenomenally well as always, but that's okay. Really excited to give this a try. And boy, the meatballs in here, they are gigantic. Gigantic. I mean, I don't know if I can give you a good idea of how big this thing is, but it is, I don't know, it's almost as long as my thumb. Oh, I'm excited to give it a try. Mmm, so, so tasty. And there's pieces of pork in here as well. I know it's a ridiculously hot day, and eating hot food might not be the best idea. However, this looked really good, had really good reviews on the menu. And as you can see behind me, this place is packed. Had a wonderful meal at this place and that was only 64 baht for the large soup and the ice and the drink. That's about $1.87. They've got four different sizes of soups you can buy and I got the one that was next to the biggest one. So good, I'll definitely put the location down in the description below. The next street over seems to go all the way to the ocean, so I'm kind of curious. It's gonna be about a 20 minute walk, but what the heck, let's do it. Uh, really wishing I had a motorbike right about now. When I come back from my trip to the US, I'm definitely gonna be either buying or renting myself a motorbike so I can get around on my own. It is now one o'clock in the afternoon, the worst time of the day to probably be out doing this. It's 97 degrees Fahrenheit, which again, I don't know, that's like 37, 38 degrees Celsius. Swati Kap. I hear Farang because obviously foreigners don't come down here. But there's some kind of a market they're setting up here, but this is not until later. We're not gonna be checking that out. I wanna go see the ocean. And it's about a 15, 20 minute walk. I probably should be taking a motorbike, but you know what? I'm pretty stupid and hey, 7-Eleven, I need something to drink again. This kid was staring me like I was an alien from another planet. You know, I'm gonna try something different today. I haven't had one of these in about eight or nine months. Don't remember what the heck they are, but let's buy one. I'm not sure if this kid's following me or not. Anyways, we're, we're back to the Mansum, which is a really strange name for this drink. I tried one of these a while back. I have no idea what this one tastes like. I'm gonna pop it open and we're gonna try it. This will teach me to turn the bottle around and read the English side. It says chlorophyll. This is a chlorophyll from alfalfa extract drink. I like green, so I like to try green things. I'm not really sure how this is gonna taste. Um, it tastes green. It tastes like sweet seaweed. I know that might not sound really delicious, but it's actually quite tasty. It's one way to keep your car cool. Very interesting tent contraption covering this vehicle. Never seen anyone set up anything this elaborate before. More merit baskets for sale. Well, that means there must be a temple somewhere nearby. Yep, always a temple, not too far anywhere in Thailand. I love that. Let's see if this one's a big one, but really interested in going to see the ocean more than the temple at this point. That is a giant and beautiful looking temple there in the background. I'll have to come check it out, but I'm not here for the temple right now. We're still walking towards the ocean wherever the heck that is. Whoever had the bright idea of covering this road with this black tarp, I thank you. Thank you so much. 
I've now turned down this alleyway and I'm still heading in the right direction, walking through a little residential district. I love all these little houses. It's really quiet here. It just has a really nice sense of community. And one thing I definitely didn't realize while I was walking through here is that all of these homes are sitting on top of water. Really didn't even catch any of that as I was walking through oh, here. Here they all come. All of them coming for me. Woohoo, I'm so scared of you guys. <laughs> ah, all bark, no bite. But the real question is, can I get to the actual ocean at the end of this road? I can see a gate from here. Not really sure if I can get over it or past it. So we might come very close, but yet be so far. I can definitely smell the sea from here. I'm probably only about 20 meters away from the gate. Fingers crossed that I can open it, or at least that there's an opening that I can actually walk out onto the beach. But I don't think there's really a beach over here. I think it's gonna be mostly mud. Well, this doesn't look very promising. There is a gate and there's a big lock on it. It's one of those days where nothing's really worked out, but that's okay. I got very close to the ocean. It's right over there, but I can't get over there. And if you're thinking I should climb over this thing, well, it's just like mud and crap on the other side. But there is some good news. I just looked on the maps and there is a way to get over there, except I took the wrong way, of course. So now we're gonna go and try to find the right way to get to the ocean here. Every time I walk by somebody working or one of the residents, I get this very strange look. They're obviously wondering why I'm here. You know, I'm kind of beginning to wonder why I'm here as well. No, we're definitely gonna get to the ocean today. And while I'm walking through here, guys, if you enjoy my videos, I would really appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel with bell notifications turned on so you know when I have a new video or a live stream popping up. Perseverance, or in my case, stubbornness, typically pays off. You just gotta keep pushing forward until you reach your goal. I can see the entrance to the waterfront, finally. Now to see what kind of a beautiful ocean view I'm going to be gifted with after making this ridiculously hot trek. I'm literally gonna give you my first impression of me seeing the ocean and, oh geez. <laughs> It's about what I expected. Take a look at this. Uh, I knew I wasn't gonna be seeing any kind of a pristine beach. It's basically just all mud out here. Very muddy, lots of rocks, trees, nothing really spectacular to see. However, this is where the ocean is and I made it all the way down here. So I'm happy that I was able to accomplish this goal today. I think we can head back. I wanna check out that giant temple that I just walked by. Once again, something I never would have discovered if I didn't go out and just wander around and get lost today. This community here, it is just such a cool place. Like I said, it's so tranquil and peaceful and quiet. I wonder how much it would cost to live out here. I'm sure it'd be pretty inexpensive. One of the major downsides that I can see here is the fact that there's probably flooding here. And I'm basing that on the fact that so many of these homes are actually built up on pretty tall stilts and piers. I would also imagine that getting grab deliveries of food out here would be pretty tough. Very interesting to see that, all the monks there chanting. I know it's a regular thing for them, but I don't get to see it often. So every time I do, I always stop and listen for a few minutes because at least for me, it brings me a lot of peace. Not sure if I can go in here or not. But look at that. Of course, the car nerd in me is really, really curious as to why they have this car over here. This looks like either a Hillman Imp or maybe a Morris or maybe an Austin. I'm not really sure. If you know what kind of car this is, let me know in the comments down below. This might feel like a day of temples, but place like this, I can't pass it up. I ended up sitting there for about five minutes, just kind of relaxing and just thinking about things. Very nice, peaceful moment. This is Wat Asokaram. This is the Wat that I saw when I was walking over here trying to find the ocean. Let's go up these stairs and wow, look at this. It's really so beautiful in there and I didn't want to bother anyone that was in there praying or meditating. So I stepped out, but as you can see, these beautiful chandeliers all the colors, I mean, the decoration, even all the way up onto the ceiling and these pillars is really magnificent. And make sure you notice all of the gorgeous artwork that surrounds the whole inside of this building. Really something cool to see. 
Hope you enjoyed another episode of Lost with Surge. Check out some of my other videos. Please don't forget to take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys soon in another of my videos. Bye.